I'm paying attention to the road. Don't watch out. Don't object on road ahead. Object on road. I don't see any objects. Thank God. But anyway, um, is it a boyfriend? Because I'll stop. I'm uh, just kidding. I'm so desperate. But seriously. channel. If you are new here, my name is Mindy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am a stand-up comedian as well as a Poshmark reseller, and this channel is all about thrifting, Poshmark, making money online, being a sexy babe on a budget. So if those things sound interesting to you, consider subscribing down below. I've done that little intro there like four times. I'm not redoing it. Try to say consider subscribing. Consider subscribing. It will make your brain explode off of your body. Like I had to find my brain and put it back in. Like it was intense. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by today. What we are doing today is we are thrifting about 45 minutes away from my house at this place, this little place I like to call Goodwill. Um, there's also some other surrounding thrift stores, so depending on how this little Goodwill trip goes, it depends on if I'm going to go to any other stores or not. I am ready to rock and roll. I have bought some fuel. I already chugged this white Red Bull, and they were two for five dollars, so your girl's got a yellow Red Bull as a backup. I also bought two bananas, two for a dollar. Told you this was a uh, channel about being a babe on a budget. Hello? Deals? Is that you? <laughs> it's me, Mindy. <laughs> this has already gone too far and gotten too stupid. So we are going to go inside. Thanks you guys for sticking along and uh, yeah, let's get this party started. Well that was a quick little trip because apparently all the Goodwills in this area are closed on Monday. That was annoying and that really throws a wrench in the pudding or whatever it is. Um, so anyway, this very nice gentleman told me that there is a DAV thrift store this way. He said take a right, take a left, take a something, something. I'm not sure. We're going to Google it. But we are going to go there and see what we can find. Alright y'all. Let's go. Alright you guys, we are on our way, I think. I'm not positive that we are going to the store that I think it is. But even if it's not, we will just pretend like the thrift gods are shining down on us and telling us that there's going to be something at this thrift store that we cannot find at another thrift store. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Sitting in traffic, this is definitely not going to be the good thrift store. <laughs> This is gonna be the uh, the crappy thrift store, but you know what? I found a really good pair of boots at this crappy thrift store one time and flipped them for ninety dollars. So it is what it is. We'll see what we can get. You can always find the gem in the gem in the poop or whatever it is. I don't think that's really an expression. Now it is. At least a hundred, y'all, because I know I just hit a hundred subscribers. Ayo!
awful. She's here just because she likes to be on camera. She thinks she is beautiful and I agree. So she likes a little, little FaceTime. Stop it. I love you. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Mindy S. I am a stand-up comedian as well as a Poshmark reseller. And this channel has everything to do with selling on Poshmark, making money online, thrift hauls, thrift with me, trips to the, trips to the Goodwill outlet, and basically overall how to be a babe on a budget. If you're not a babe and you're not on a budget, if you're a dude and you're rich, well, call me. Just Joshin. But what we are doing today is, okay, we are doing a giant thrift haul, like a kind of cumul cumulative, is that the word? Cumulative thrift haul from four local stores. Um, and some of the stuff I'm sending to the real real, and some of it I am listing in my Poshmark closet. If you want to check out my Poshmark closet, the name is just my name. It's M-I-N-D-Y-E-S-S. -S. That's also, FYI, my TikTok handle as well as my Instagram username. So, catch me outside. Y'all check me out. All right. So, the stuff that I'm going to show you first is from The Real Real. And the reason for that is because they are actually coming. USPS is coming to pick a box up. And um, I'm going to probably have to pause this at some point and put this stuff in the box and take it outside and then jump back into it. So, I'll show you that stuff first. And, uh, and then we'll get into everything else. I will do my best to remember what everything costs. Some of the stuff still has price tags on it. The stuff that still has a price tag on it means I've steamed it but have not washed it yet. Um, and that also means that it's not listed in my closet yet. The stuff that doesn't have a tag on it, I've already gotten listed. So I, I'm pretty good at remembering prices though. So I, I think I know where I spent and where I got pretty much everything. All right, so let's jump right in. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is a piece that I'm sending to the real real. This is a new with tags Lafayette 148 dress. If you have never seen this brand, it is gosh darn expensive. So this still has the tags on it. Um, this dress, oh, this one has the, the price tag actually pulled off. But judging from the other two pieces that I have, I can ballpark that this Dress was probably 700, 750 bucks, which is crazy. It's gonna be even crazier when I tell you how much I paid for all this stuff. The next piece that actually came with it was this matching Lafayette 148 jacket that does still have a price tag attached. This price tag is for $698 on the jacket. And then there's also a shirt or like a, it's like an asymmetrical blouse that matches as well that I already boxed up and I forgot to take out, but that one had a $548 price tag still attached. So think about how much all these three things cost together. If you guessed $6.99 for all three together, you would be right. Even at Goodwill, this was at a Goodwill, and I was like, are you sure you don't wanna charge me for like more things? And she was like, no, they're a set, it's cool. And then she was like, stop talking about it before I get in trouble. I was like, all right, I'm just offering lady. It is what it is. So $6.99 for like six, twelve, like eighteen hundred dollars worth of clothing, which is completely insane. And just why I do this, why I do what I do. Okay, so the next piece that I have to show you, I actually found yesterday, and I haven't really comped it. I kind of looked on the real real to see what they were charging for stuff like this. Um, and I couldn't find anything similar. The brand name is Salvatore Ferragamo, which you probably are more familiar with uh, because of designer shoes. But this is actually a really super cute jacket made in Italy. I love this purple. I like how it's kind of like oversized. It fits me. I love it. It was $20, which for me is actually considered paying up because I didn't want to pay $20 for this, but I loved it. And so I got it. It was actually on sale from $24.99 to $20. Bucks, um, and it was at a store called Family Thrift, which is in Virginia Beach, Virginia, where I live. All right. So those are the pieces going to the real real. And then I have one more thing to show you. I actually have a whole box of stuff going to the real real, but I didn't want to send, I didn't want to show you guys stuff that it had already, that I'd had for a while in my closet, just in case you were um, familiar with my Poshmark closet because some of it's been around for a while. I can't get rid of it. Sometimes designer stuff just sells a lot better on the real real and they give you a decent cut. So I make pretty good money over there. So check it out if you're not already. All right. So the next piece that I have to show you, I don't know if they're actually going to take these. I found these at Goodwill as well. They were $5. They are vintage Stuart, Stuart Wiseman little heels here. 
but I think they're kind of relevant again because they do have kind of a square toed heel or excuse me, a square, a square toe. Um, and that's kind of back in style. And I thought these little details were cool. The little rhinestone details. They're not missing any, are they? No. So we'll see what the real world has to say about this. The only thing is there's a couple little chippies to the toes. I probably should have sharpied that in before I sent these. I shouldn't have said that out loud, but I should have, but I didn't. But so we'll see if they take them or not. Okay. So that's my real world stuff. I'm going to pause this video, box that on up, and then we'll get back to it. I lied. I forgot to show you guys one more thing that's going in the box. Okay, so let me grab that. So the next thing that I am putting in, or the last thing that I'm showing you that I'm putting in the box for the real real is this Mark Jacobs bag. I found it Goodwill. It was marked up to $10, which is crazy because it was probably like a $300 bag. Easy. I'm not sure what they're going to give for give to me for it over there but um it's been sitting in my closet for just a, a few weeks but i think because of the color i'm having a hard time selling it so we'll see what they can get for it and then i'll get my cut i had to change you guys i got too hot it's real hot in here and i don't know why the A's, ac is on 68 but i'm just burning up i guess because i'm all excited for talking about thrifting so i'm gonna show you two purses to start with both of these i got it at goodwill both of them were five dollars so the one that i am showing you first is a michael kors bag i could not believe that they did not have this marked up like i really couldn't it's got a couple of little marks on it you can probably see that i need to just take like a wipey to and uh and wipe off um and then the inside is actually pretty clean this kind of goes with the whole safari vibe that's like trending right now so i think this should do well i'll probably list it 90 hope for 70 um, but depending on the comps, once I check them, I might price it a teensy bit higher. Okay, so the next purse that I have to show you is from the brand Born. Here's the logo here if you've never seen it before. They make really nice boots too. This has this like fresh leather smell and I'm like obsessed with this. It took everything in me not to keep this bag because it's just a nice bag and it's super, super duper clean inside. It looks brand new. So um, I already have this listed. I think I have it up at 70 and I'm just hoping to get 60, 55. The next thing that I found was at a different Goodwill, but for $6.50 because all the boots at Goodwill are $6.50. And I was, this is probably one of my very favorite finds of the week. I've never actually found these out in the wild. Ta-da! Like a super cute pair of Hunter boots. Um, they're called Watling boots. I guess that's the name of them, Watling. And I already have these listed as well. I have them priced at 90, hope, hoping for 70. They have a teeny bit of minor wear throughout, but for the most part, like really not much of anything. I couldn't believe they didn't price these up. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, you already saw earlier, cause it was on my bate and I got too hot and had to take it off. I wanted to get one wear in, but I got a 10 minute wear in and that's that. Now it's getting wrapped in plastic and putting, uh, putting on Poshmark. So this is a sweater from a, the brand Pins and Needles. If you are not familiar, Pins and Need Needles is an anthropology brand um, as well as an Urban Outfitters brand. I believe this particular, uh, this particular sweater sold at Urban Outfitters. I'm going to list for 30, hope for 25. It's so pretty, but I checked the comps and it's so oversized. Like I love the dip dye, even though dip dye is super big this year and it's so nice. I love the V-neck. Like the comps were still not out of this world. So 30 was kind of like right in the middle of what it was kind of going for. The next thing that we have is one of my very favorite things to find, which is a Harley tee. I love, you might know this about me if you know me personally. I, I like to play uh, play the slots. I like a little blackjack. So anything that has cards on it or anything like that is like exciting to me to, to find. There was another one of these, but I'm keeping it. Uh, but yeah, so this one has playing cards on the front and on the back, it says Blackbeard Harley Davidson and it's from Newmarket, England, which is kind of exciting. I think I still need to wash this, but I love this shirt. Um, it's like it's kind of faded, but with Harley, that's fine because people are kind of into the vintage look right now. If it doesn't sell once I list it, I'm probably going to list it for 35 because the, the front graphic is so cool. If it doesn't sell for 30 ish, um, I will probably tie dye it, but I don't want to do that because I really like the faded look that it has already. So we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, we'll tie dye it and tie dye the Harley shirts 
they always sell for me. Okay, so the next thing that we got is a, I got this actually from a local CHKD. It was $1.99. It is a J. Crew collector tee, but it's J. Crew Mercantile, which is what they were calling the J. Crew outlet for just a little bit there. Um, these I bought this because one, it was only $2, and two, because I had another collector's tee that I sold recently for 25 bucks. And so I know people, they look for these, which is crazy, but people are on the lookout for certain types of these. Collect That's why they're called collector's tees because people collect them. So anyway, I listed this one already. I think I've got it up there from for 20 versus 25 only because it's from the outlet. Um, and I'm hoping for 15. The next piece that we got is from a... I don't know why I keep saying we, like there's like a whole team of us here. It's literally just me and my Chihuahua and my little mini American Eskimo dog. Like there's not a team of people behind the scenes helping me prep for this video. It's just me. Let me rephrase. The next thing I have to show you is this vintage Betsy Johnson. There's the label mesh shirt in a size small. I love the flower appliques. I think they're super cute. It's got a little back flower applique as well. People love these little added details. Um, and a lot of people actually collect Betsy Johnson. So Betsy Johnson, not to call her a sellout, the girl, is, she's got, she's got a unique taste. I've always liked her stuff, but she did sell out and started selling it at Dillard's. So this was before Dillard's. If you're picking up after she started selling in Dillard's, that stuff's not going for anything. So you want to get the, the pre-Dillard's phase of Betsy. And you'll be able to tell. I mean, you can just tell that this is an old label. So hopefully that will go for, I don't know, I listed at 35, hoping for 30. The next two pieces, three pieces that we have are workout gear. So this first brand I had never actually heard of. Oh, these ones still have the prices attached because I got them yesterday. I bought this these three things at a store called uh, Family Thrift Center in Virginia Beach. These shorts were $1.98. They still need lint rolled, it looks like, and steamed. So this brand is called Zaya Active. I had never heard of it, but I looked it up and the comps were really good. I'm actually going to list these at 40 believe it or not, um, because the comps were that good on this brand. And uh, it's got this little moon on the back, which is, I guess, how you can tell... Um, that it's the Zaya brand. So we got that, that was exciting. They had some Lululemon there, but it was over like way priced up. And then when I comped this stuff, it was selling for more than Lulu does. So I was like, well, guess you missed that one, didn't you family thrift? All right, so the next thing that we have is from the same brand. It was $2.98. Here's your little moon on the back, your little Zaya active. I'm probably, their leggings were selling between like 40 and 60. So I'll probably list these about 45 um, and see what we can get for them. The legs are cool. Like they're not the same on each leg and they look pretty high waisted and they feel really, really good. Like they feel like Lululemon, but a little bit nicer actually. Okay, so the next thing that we have, I might keep these. I haven't comped them. Um, if you follow Nicole State, she always says that Nike Pro sells really good. So I picked these up based on the fact that they were Nike Pro and I heard it in a video from her. But they're also my size and these would be cute to wear under, or not cute, they'd just be nice to wear under a dress or something instead of regular underwear. So I might keep these, but if I comp them and they're sellable and worth a decent amount, then I will sell them, we'll see but $2.98, I could not go wrong. All right, so this is another brand that I've never picked up before, but I also learned from another reseller, Lori Tata, shout out girly. What's up girl? I believe that you were the one that told me about this brand or that I heard about this brand from in a haul video of yours. It's curled Pearl Tazumi and it is a racing brand. I paid $6.98 for this jacket, hopefully listing at like 60 or 65. You can see it has that cool like back graphic, but it's it's a cycling brand. So people that ride like bicycles, not motorcycles, but it's just a nice jacket. And, um, and yeah, the comps are really good. So I picked it up. The next thing that we have, I have not comped this shirt yet, but uh, it's Athleta and Athleta always does 
pretty well, especially in larger sizes. So this is an athletic top and an extra large. And at the same token, it also has this like almost one shoulder effect going and one shoulder is really big right now. So based on those three things and how good of condition it was in, I picked it up and because it was only $2 and 98 cents. So there you go, worth it all around. I'm not sure what I'm gonna price out, like I said, but if I had to guess, I would say probably 25, hope for 20. This next tank top, I didn't mean to put in here. This is for me, but I did buy this cute little Nike tank. So cute and it's like cropped and it'll look cute with leggings with a sports bra underneath. And it was $4.98, so don't matter because I'm keeping it, but I do think that this is a cute little top. Okay, so the next thing that I have to show you guys is a, it's just a J Crew top, but when I looked a little bit closer, um, it was such a cool print, and I realized that it was from, it just says Liberty, but Liberty of London is the designer or design team, I guess, that comes out with these art prints. And um, it's just a cool shirt. Comps were great. I'm probably going to price between 30 and 40 and hope for 25 It's a nice shirt. $2.98. Can't beat it. And it is a double zero. I keep forgetting to tell you guys the sizes. I'll have all the stuff listed in my Poshmark closet. But if there's anything that you are interested in, you can just email me at mindys at gmail.com. Or the quicker way to get a hold of me is just to DM me on Instagram. The next thing I have to show you guys, you're going to be like, okay, like what? Now we don't trust you anymore because you make bad decisions. But I don't make bad decisions when it comes mostly to shopping. And this shirt here, not only does this dog look like my dog Waffle, which was enough alone to pick it up. It was $3 at the DAV. And um, these novelty print vintage sweaters just do really well for me, like $30. $5, I'll probably price that, hope for $30. Um, they're kind of one of a kind at this point, so people like picking them up. And people wear them for ugly Christmas sweater parties, even if it's not really a Christmas dog. The brand is called Alfred Dunner. That doesn't really matter because I didn't pick it up based on brand name. I picked it up based on style, but um, it's a size small. It's a little big for a size small, but um, I already have this listed. So if you like it and you want a waffle sweater, go ahead and pick this one up, y'all. The next top that I have to show you, I should have comped and I didn't because if you saw my vlogging, you'll know why. Um, I didn't have time to comp this top. It's, I mean, it's a nice top. It's just J. Crew, and J. Crew sells pretty well for me. It's a size small. This tie front detail is super cute. The good news is it's still on the website. The bad news is it's only selling for $25 on the website. So I listed it for $25 on Poshmark only because I usually shoot higher than what I think I'll actually make. And it also allows me to, to leave room for offers. So I'm hoping 18 to 20 for this, this um, shirt. It says it's a small, it runs a little, a little big, um, but, it, but it does have this little elastic band in the back. It's cute. It's just not my color. I'd probably keep it. The next top that I have to show you is also from DAV. It is a brand that I had never heard of, but I had a feeling when I felt the fabric, it feels really nice that it was gonna be from Anthropology, and I looked it up and I was right. So this is what the tag looks like. It's Lily Sidonio, uh, and then it says Molly Bracken underneath. It's a size small, but it fits me, which means it's more like a medium large. It has this cool bungee detail, so you can actually make it into a peplum. And then the cheetah print, I think, is just adorbs. I like how it has a front and back collar. So it's just a cute little shirt all around. I'm going to price it 40 hope for 30 the next brand is one of my favorite brands, actually. It doesn't resell for the best, but it has a very high retail value. It's this brand that you've probably seen before. It's called Joie. It's 100% silk. This is a, a medium. Um, I just think this is a, it's, it's just a pretty shirt. Everything they make is super pretty. I, I, it surprises me that it doesn't sell for more, um, but I will probably list at 40, hope for 30. All right, so the next piece that we have is another uh, another vintage piece. 
still has the price tag on. I got this at CHKD. It was $5.99, as you can see. And the brand is Tadashi. Tadashi Shoji has been around for a long time. I uh, wore a dress to a wedding this summer that I, that was this brand that I ended up selling on Poshmark after I wore it for $80. So the retail is pretty, pretty good. Like the re, the contain, it keeps its resale value is what I'm trying to say. This particular piece, I found the exact piece on Poshmark for $25. $5.99 versus $25, considering they take 20%, is not the best margin in the world. But there was only one of them that had sold, and so I'm not going based on that. I'm going to list at 40 hope for 30 The next shirt that I have to show you is from DAB as well. I took the tag off already because this is already in my Poshmark closet. It is the brand Bando. If you are not familiar with Bando, I love their stuff. Like they have these really, really cool retro prints, tees, and a lot of like office and back, back to school supplies, um, planners, stuff like that. You should check out the website. It's Bando.com. Now I just saw they keep advertising them to me because I looked to see if this shirt was on the website, which it was. They keep advertising their new stuff to me every time I get online. And now they have like the sick, like they have these cool masks too. I digress, but anyway, check it out. It's cute. So this is new with tags. It was $6.99, which again, I didn't get to comp. If you watched my vlog at the beginning, you'll know why. Um, but the price tag said it was marked at $48. And like I said, it's still on the website. Um, and you have to pay for shipping on there. So I priced at 40, you know, you're still saving a little bit of money. And also I, I'm open to offers. So I'll probably, I priced it 40, hoping for 30. This is, can be part of a PJ set, um, but it doesn't have to be part of a PJ set because it's marketed both ways as like a shirt that you would wear out as outerwear and then as part of a, a, a part of pajamas. I think they called it a leisure shirt. I just thought the print was cool and I like the brand, so I picked it up. Plus, when you got to pee that bad, you know, you just grab and go. All right. So the next thing I have to show you guys is a t-shirt from Pink Floyd. This one still has the price tag on it. It was $1.98. I got this at the Family Thrift yesterday. I pick up a ton of band tees. Um, this one, I've got to look up specifically because it is the brand Liquid Blue. Liquid Blue has been around forever, um, including in the 80s. So some of their stuff goes for a lot of money. If you find a liquid blue with a real tag, comp it because it might be worth some real money. But this one, since it's printed inside, we know is not vintage. Um, and because of that, I'm going to comp it to see what it's selling for already. And again, if it's not selling for that much or if there's a billion of them on Poshmark, I will be tie dyeing and then selling. If you guys want to see a tie-dye video, please comment down below. I've kind of perfect, perfected the art of the like band tee tie-dye. So if you want to see, uh, yeah, if you want to see how I do it, just comment down below so I know to make that video. Okay, so the next thing that we have is a brand that I had never heard of called Philip Adek. I might be saying that wrong. It's called Adek 2. I got this yesterday at the Family Thrift. It was $3, so that's kind of why I picked it up. And when I looked at the comps, it looks like I can sell for about 40 So I'll probably list it like 45 hope for 35 just to be on the kind of conservative size or side. It's a size 12, which is a great size. And yeah, it's just a really pretty jacket. It's... um viscose and 18% silk. So it feels like really, really good. The next thing that we have is a pair of, well, I guess you could call this a skort, but that's just such a dirty word to me. Like who says skort? You know what I mean? It reminds me of being seven, but um, this, this doesn't because it's actually 100% silk. It's a brand called Talani. If you're not familiar, they make pretty dresses. They make cute rompers. And apparently they make these shorts with this little, like, uh, I called it a, I called them wrap shorts is what I called it online. And I believe that I priced at 35 hoping for 25 to 30, but it is a cool little Aztec print. And, um, 
yeah, they're just a nice pair of shorts. I, I tend to pick up a lot of stuff that's silk. I just really like the fabric and it does well for me. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but they're a size medium. Um, but they're a little big for a medium. So if you wore a large and you liked these, you could probably fit them. I put the measurements in the listing as I always do. The next thing that we have was $1.98, which is crazy. I got this at a DAV. It is uh, Broom Street by Kate Spade Jeans. They look brand new without tags to me. They're a size 24, so teeny tiny, but you know, everybody needs jeans. And um, I like Kate Spade, so here's the back label. I priced at 30, hoping for 25. For some reason, their jeans don't do that good, but I mean, that's still a decent comp, but you'd think that Kate Spade's jeans would sell for more. They don't, so it is what it is, but $30 on a $2 pair of jeans is still a pretty good markup. Okay, so everything that we have left is going to be shoes, and there's like five or six pairs, so let's go through those, and then we're all done, y'all. So the first pair that I have to show you, I bought based on uh, mostly price and style, definitely not brand. If you, not to bring her up again, so I am like a huge fan of this woman, Lori Tata. Her, her YouTube is Lori's Boston Found. But anyway, she's doing this thing right now where she's going over the, like the five strands of why you should purchase something. It's super interesting, but I've been thinking about that consciously while I'm shopping now. And I picked them up based on several of the strands minus the brand. So the first thing that I went on is the quality or uh, what condition they're in. So they're in um, brand new condition. They've never been worn, which is awesome. They are a really cool print. They're a nice boot. They're like a faux, I think, I can't tell. They feel like real calf hair, but I'm assuming they're faux calf hair. Calf hair. So cute little boot, cute style, brand new. The only thing that I didn't by based on was brand name, which is Esmara by Heidi Klum, which does not have the best uh, sell through rate in the, in the world, but there was only like two pairs of these boots that had ever been sold on Poshmark. So I'm not going based on what they said. I actually listed these at $25 and um, yeah, hoping for 20. The next thing I have is I picked up for me these are brand new without the tags. They're Diane von Furstenberg. They were $4.98, which is crazy. They're a size eight, not that it matters because I'm keeping them, y'all. But I thought these were a cute little platform wedge. I know platforms aren't huge this year, but like they, they make my feet feel better. And if they make your feet feel better, just wear them, you know? So anyway, I loved the yellow color. You can't beat DVF shoes for $5, brand new. That's literally crazy. The next thing that I got is a pair of Born boots. I think these are so gorgeous. I bought them at Family Thrift for $10. I love the like burnt toe detail. I have not listed these yet because I'm going to take some Dr. Martin Wonder Balm and kind of buff the toes out because there's a couple of little teeny tiny scratches, which is crazy because these are brand new shoes too. And you can see here, they were $9.98. They're just super nice boots. They probably won't sell right away, but hopefully September, October, they'll definitely be selling. And I'm gonna list them at probably 65, hope for 50 to 55, if I don't snatch them up and keep them because they're my size. I think these are the cutest thing ever. So cute. And then the next thing, last pair that we have, we'll end on a kind of a weird note, a vintage note, is a brand of shoes called Charlie One Horse. <laughs> These were $5. They're like a low cut boot. Like I said, they're vintage. They've got cool coat, uh, toe details. They've got the square toed and they are a size nine and a half. They're actually in amazing condition. Here's the bottoms. I'm gonna list these, or I think I already listed at 80. Hope for 65 to 70. So that ends our haul for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. Um, fantastic news. We actually just hit 100 subscribers, which is a big deal to me. 100 whole subscribers after only four of these videos. So that means a lot to me. And for those of you that are, are like I said, new or returning, either way, thanks for being here. We're gonna have fun on this channel. If you haven't already, 
please uh, give this video a thumbs up or a like, whatever you want to call it. Please hit the little bell to notify you when new videos get posted. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time. I like to drink my Red Bulls like I'm a 16 year old chugging a Mike's Hard Lemonade behind a dumpster. <laughs> I just couldn't even say that with this drink, Marius, even to myself. <sighs> Memories.